Supreme Family Garden here. And today, guys, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna plant orange trees. Um, a couple of my customers had given me these trees about three, four months ago, but um, I didn't really wanna plant them because I have like a hundred here already. But I said, you know what, why not? Because what's going on now, guys, is um, I'll take you there another day. Probably about 20 feet that way, that's still my property, but I think someone's gonna be building a home there shortly because they have it staked out. So what I'm gonna do is, if you guys can see, I have a line of orange trees this way. And I'm gonna keep them probably about six foot high at all times, just to act like a privacy fence. So I figured, you know what, the cold killed a lot of them last year. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put them in the ground. So um, right here, guys, this is the hole. Now remember, whenever you guys plant a tree, you wanna plant, dig the hole two times the size of the pot all right and that's what I'm about to do here where's my other shot at? oh there we go all right now from what I've heard everybody plants them now like a square so I've been doing kind of like the same thing sometimes I do sometimes I don't I'm not going to be a YouTuber and get on here and tell you guys a bunch of foolishness and, you know. But anyway, oh, look at here. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at this. This is mycorrhiza fungi. Now, guys, if you look at this, what's going to happen is I'm going to, let me demonstrate a little bit better for you. So you all can understand. Now, this stuff, guys. What I did, I found probably about a hundred yards, like, oh God, like 10 mounds of this at work one day, right? It was all the way in the back of a field where we dumped all the trees and whatever. And I was listen listening to a video and the guy was talking about how it attaches itself to the roots and so I'm like, wow. And then one day me out living in the woods, I found a tree that actually had some growing on the bottom. So I'm like, damn, maybe this really does work. So once I planted some seeds in it once, Guys, I swear I never fertilized it, forgot about the tree. That was the biggest pepper plant I ever grew in my life. So I, now I know it works and it grows. So again, go in the woods, look under like the leaf mold, all of that good stuff, you will find it. And put it underneath your plants and put a little mulch on top. But anyway, back to what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna break her up a little bit. Get her nice and groovy. You're going to a new home, girl. And I was gonna put you on the internet and try and sell you. There we go. See here guys, just a little bit. Now normally, I'd snip these roots out a little bit, but I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to walk my butt and grab my pruning chair, so may God be with this tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this mycorrhiza fungi and I'm gonna put it in here. And I wanna make sure Look at this here. Look like somebody put white powder. This is what you guys need. Dr. Earth and Mr. Michaels and Mrs. Paula. All of that stuff is garbage, man. That's garbage. This is what this is where it's at. And it's free. Free. F-R-E-E-E. -E -E. Free. Sprinkle that stuff in there. Now in a few months, it's gonna attach itself to the oh my goodness. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. And again. I gotta say it one more time. It was free. I didn't go to no big box store. I didn't buy any dirt, anything like that. This is what I made. This is what I made. So check me out. La da 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 da. La. Oh la da da. Where'd the dog go? Big mama. Big mama. Big mama. Come on, girl. Come to papa. Oh, hey, Chloe. I didn't know you were back there, girl. You want to dig some holes, but you did it. You don't want to get you dirty because then you're going to jump right in the bed. It's your nasty self. Watch out. Let daddy plant the hole, baby. Let daddy plant the hole. Maybe I'll give you an orange. No, baby. You got to come out of the hole. Come on. Don't do that to Papa. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's okay. Daddy loves you, too. See, guys, the dirt's so good, the dog wants to lay in it. 
Say hey YouTube family. Say hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. Say what's up, Mr. Lead Farmer. Say what's up, Mr. Lead Farmer. I'm gonna come up there and eat all the geese in your backyard. Saying that right, Mr. Lead Farmer. Alright. Alright guys, back to the video. I'm gonna grab my um water hose here. I'm going to let this just fill it up, get any air pockets and anything out of that. Wash my hands off. Oh, another tip, guys. I went down to a um, orange farm to do a bid on a uh, irrigation system. And while I was there, I thought about it. I said, you know, I'm going to walk back here and check it out. Because where, where the guy, his home is actually on the, um, on the orange grove. So I walked to the other side, and you know, this guy's been growing oranges here in Florida, he said, like 45 years. And everybody now, they're, they're like, oh, you put mulch around everything. Uh, you don't need mulch around citrus trees. Yes, it does help, and when people talk about, you know, mulching and they have them in a pot, it's a different ball game when a citrus tree is in the ground. Those trees require at least 80% sand. Now, if you want to add a little, I would say leaf mulch. I wouldn't go with like mulch mulch because what happens with heavy mulch, you're not going to get enough oxygen, you know, to the roots of the plant. So that's something that I, I would shy away from, you know. Plum trees, peace trees, things like that. That's a different scenario. But a citrus tree, nah, you don't need that. And remember, a lot of the people who tell you guys that, they're growing them in a pot. And a lot of those people actually go to the nursery a tree that's already got fruit on it come home and they make a video and read the tag and tell you this is how you do it that's garbage and those people need to stop making videos because I used to believe those people too till I started to follow YouTube and now I know better don't do that guys that's a no-no so all right let me try and cover this hole up let me try and square this up See all that white stuff inside of that, guys? It's called mycorrhiza fungi. Look at that. Look like someone poured flour down in there. See that lead? You don't have that on your island now, do you, brother? Uh-huh. You got me on everything else, but I got you with this here, don't I? Now? Anyway, guys, it's getting dark. Get away from that dog. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And I'm going to finish this up, and my phone's beeping over there. I don't have a camera. But if you guys feel like you want to mail me a camera update. Supreme Family Gardening. May God bless. And I'm going to get out here and finish these orange trees. You guys have a good night.